Hello! Let's get inspired by cinematography direction with Steven Spielberg. This class is gonna help you to make camera movement because you're gonna understand the purpose. Why am I moving my camera? Because we are going to talk about meaning. And Steven Spielberg is fabulous for this. He explained this scene without words, just with camera movement. And I am going to have here as an example a scene in the Jurassic Park tree. The first tip we have here with Steven Spielberg is that the camera movement contextualizes a scene. And you're going to check it right now. Take a look. And this girl is looking, is observing, and you see the camera move. Here's the point of view shot with movement. And now she's curious. There's something weird. And there's zooming. And there's zooming. And oops! That dinosaur wasn't inside. <laughs> And here we have two other special tips from Steven Spielberg. Zooming works like a clue. Did you see that? She, she was observing everything and we just have camera movement. But in the moment the camera was in zooming, the, the, the lens movement and this, this is dense. When the cinematography director does that. He's telling you, pay attention here. So it's a clue. If, if you make a close shot in a knife, for example, and you put zoom in and so the song, mm, the viewer say, oh, what's about this knife? What's going to happen then? Oh, oh, I get it. So you have the viewer attention. He, he, he really pay attention because he understands you without words. And of course, he, Steven Spielberg gave us a clue and we know there's something about, oh, there's something about this dinosaur. What's wrong? What's wrong? And so we have here the weapon, which is usually a revelation. If you do that in your camera, you make a weapon. We have a blur moment. While we have the weapon, we have a blur moment. And it's like a shock you, you give to your viewer. And it's a revelation. And it, it's not this just this type of movies like Jurassic Park uh, with adventure. No, I, I may do it with uh, something fun, for example. Oh. Here it's, it's smelly, too bad. A whip and shot and you show someone. <laughs> this person fart. <laughs> really? It may be something uh, really funny. Really, really funny. So it depends. It's a revelation. When you do whip and shot, it's a revelation. Okay? Let's continue watching the, the scene. What do you think is going to happen? If she gets that that dinosaur is alive and she's in danger, what is she going to do? She's going to run, of course, and her friends are going to run too. So what is Spielberg going to do? Of course, the camera is going to run with them. So we are going to have the camera movement again. Camera movement follows the character who is walking or running. Okay, so she runs and her friends run too and the camera run together in a faster movement is if we compare it to the beginning of the scene that was just contextualizing, right? And here I you, you saw that the that character look at the place and there was a wall and so there's no exit and 
how are they going to, to run from that dinosaur? So this is a point of view shot. There's something running and you see a wall and there's no exit. Um, you think, mm, what are they going to do? You give to the viewer what the character is feeling and the point of view shot is very efficient for that. Point of view shot represents where the character looks and express intentions and feelings. Oh, come on, let's see. You have the zoom in again. I told you, at the moment you make zooming something, um, it, it, they give you a clue. What's the clue here? I ask you, is this door open or closed? Of course it's closed because he made the zoom in. So you, you, you are still curious. You, you, you still want to, to know what's gonna happen. If it's, if it's closed, what are they going to do? Do you want to watch it? Do you want to watch it? Eh, that's the expectation that the camera movement gives to you. It's locked. So we have camera movement, camera movement again. They are running, they are running. We have here another point of view shot and it's, it's her point of view shot. She's looking at the, the dinosaur and the dinosaur made that. And there is a camera movement that exactly the head of the girl at this, this camera movement. And she get it. What is the dinosaur going to make? She get what he is thinking and we know that because it's a point of view shot and it's also a camera movement that represents her head movement. Of course, the dinosaur is going to clean the door or dump. Ugh. And now, are you curious? What are they going to do? Let's check it. Steven Spielberg is doing that with you. They keep you curious. And so we finalize here this amazing scene. And there's a zoom. Again, zoom is a clue. It, it, it's, it's giving clue for the next scene, for understand the plot. And the character said, oh my God, he's calling for help. So he is discovering about the dinosaur behavior. He's intelligent. He's asking for his friends or his mother if he's a, a baby dinosaur. Oh, come on. They're, they're asking for help. I hope you learned a lot. I imagine you did. You learned a lot. I hope I have helped you. And if you want to learn more, if you want to take a complete course, I invite you to my course from script to video, how to transform a story into a movie. I see you in the next class.